Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my stock swing trading analysis and alert video for Wednesday the 20th of February. So no closed trades yesterday. Let's go through the current open trades. The two shorts we have on at the moment, they're there as insurance red in case the market goes down. PE have earnings today after the market. It's in a slight loss making position at the moment. It is at resistance. We have to make a decision during the session today. So look out on the Twitter feed, on the signals feed there, uh, and see what I'm doing. I'm going to see what the price action's like, and maybe take that small loss uh, prior to earnings. Although the previous earnings have really, really got hold of this current bearish trend that we're in, and we're looking for that fifth wave move. So let's see how that price action goes today, and look out for those signals on the Twitter. FLR is the other one. This has earnings tomorrow. We had an up day yesterday, but the grey candle denotes that low volume. So it was a low volume move up. We've got to see that consolidation today and move back down. So again, between these two, we've got earnings. We've got to make decisions really quickly. Uh, if this comes back down to test that open today, which it seems to do every single day, it might be worth just getting out at break even and carrying the risk over just on PE. Uh, but I'll make those decisions during the training session and let everybody know on the signal service there. So let's go through the longs. Five is the first one. We're about break even on this. We had a big rejection of those lows yesterday. If we look at that candle, it is a red candle. Okay, so that is a hammerhead. We've got the rejection of those lows on higher volume. The previous candle, the light blue candle, is a down candle but with lower volume. So that rejection on high volume of those lows is really encouraging, especially now as we've got another bullish signal here. I know we're already in this, but of those that are not it, we've got another bullish signal, 131.84, with a stop loss down here, 126.82 one something like that so uh, another bullish signal encouraging for this new trade that we're in amd is next we are trading off the 60 minute time frame for that so let's just open that chart okay so we are in profit with this we had that higher high higher low yesterday um we had the pullback towards the end of the session consolidated we got another bullish signal yesterday so going into today's session those that are not in this again really tight this is more of a day trading signal though on the 60 minute time frame we've got a tight entry at 24.23 and a stop loss at 23.87 so very tight stop and entry there and you would be just looking for a, a one day wonder there and get a one to one and get out but our swing trade in AMD is looking good every day now we're getting those higher highs high lows seems to be gathering momentum so same sector MCHP not got the momentum still flat we're trading this off the daily time frame looking for that um, we've had the wave for failure we're looking for that new bullish trend to continue but we've been flat since we since we entered there we got the big gap up through our entry and then we've gone flat we're just consolidating with very low volume where we've got dividends today I think by the looks of it so we, we, we might have a little pullback during that phase and then the bullish momentum should in theory continue RTN really really strong swing trade we've got on here I think we've been in this for you know five days now we're nearly at 100% profit times risk we've got the indecision doji yesterday be careful of this one higher high higher low which is good but we've got that lower volume and that indecision to be honest the markets were in that indecision phase yesterday they were creeping up but we weren't really trending and there wasn't a lot of volume and that is usual after that um, a long weekend that no markets Monday people getting back into it short trading week uh, a lot more indecision on that first day as I'm looking at the futures right now we are below uh, the close of yesterday both on ES and YM so S&P and Dow down at the moment um, but seems to be consolidating in, in good support so um, we, we're not that far but we are gapping down at this moment but it's during the European morning okay Apple is next on the 60 minute time frame good news for Apple yesterday well the market thought it was good news we're having a big executive reshuffle there and it looks like the markets did enjoy that but it didn't spike Apple at the moment has been range bound. As you can see, we're, we're trying to get that fifth wave move on this six minute time frame. 
and we've tiptoe triggered and we've become range bound for four or five days here. It doesn't seem to want to push down. That support level is really good. Even with that good news yesterday, it wasn't enough to catapult this out of the range. So we're going to probably carry this over into next week. If we don't get a break out of that range, we'll just have to get a break even and get out of this trade. But at this moment, I'm going to keep it on just to see if that news gets digested well today, uh, overnight, and then when the market's open today on Wednesday, we get a little bit of a move there. NUAN. Gap down yesterday, test the stock, didn't take it out. Again, it could do that today. So we've got to be careful with this. It's a cheap stock. You know, we're around about $16.33 on the entry there. So you've got to be a little bit careful. For me personally, when we've got a cheap stock like this and it gaps down, it's testing the stop on that gap down pre-market. I usually take the stop off, wait for the open, look for that little blip and put the stop back on again. It's not a massive mover. It's a cheap stock. Uh, you're not going to get those huge moves. So just keep an eye out on pre-market and keep an eye on the Twitter feed as well um, because during my pre-market show, I will be looking at that. And if there's any uh, decisions to be made, I will put those out on the Twitter feed. BVM is next on the daily time frame we're about break even on BVN it's not bad we've been in it so what two days now since we had the big move out here with the big volume we've had two indecision dojis one green one red nobody knows where they want to take this we've got earnings um, let me have a look on the spreadsheet we've got earnings very soon so we've got to be careful on this one um, but it looks like we've got enough move. Remember, we've just took profit on this one and we're getting in for a second go um, at a further move high. Um, but we've got to get out before it. So again, keep an eye on the Twitter feed for that in case during the session I decide to take profit and get out. TJX is the next open trade. We're in profit on this one. We triggered yesterday. Uh, sorry, we triggered uh, Friday. Uh, then yesterday we had the higher high, higher low with lower volume, which seemed to be the theme of yesterday. There was lower volume everywhere yesterday. So we've got a green candle, but we've got the higher high, higher low. Young trade, looking good. We've gone through earnings, through we've gone through dividends. I've uh, got earnings coming up soon. We're just looking for that push into earnings. Microsoft, I did this on Twitter Live very recently. Um, we for a breakout uh, and we've got it we've got through that hundred and eight dollars uh, we triggered on Friday yesterday uh, we came lower but we closed back up above hundred and eight dollars so looking really really strong there Microsoft again targets around about hundred and thirteen dollars there Costco triggered yesterday for the breakout to the upside we, we pulled back a little bit after the entry, but I'm quite happy with that. We, we're testing this big resistance zone. Remember, our entry was at 219.06. For me, this is an additional entry into my uh, physical holdings of this as well. Uh, so good looking breakout. We got the higher high, higher low, lower volume like everything else yesterday, but looks pretty good to me. Good entry. And then finally, FDN triggered yesterday. Again, we took profit on this recently and we're looking for another uh, pop of the cherry there. Uh, we have got a good green day yesterday. Uh, so we've got that increased volume, good solid candle, closed near the open, uh, closed near the high of the day. So really, really good looking potential there. We've got no earnings on this anytime soon. So we, again, it's, it's uh, we, we don't have earnings on FDN. So we've got, a, I think we've got a good strong push to $143. Uh, and then we've got IP triggered yesterday. Remember, we're trading this uh, potential fifth wave on a couple of different time frames. really. Let's look at it on the four hour. This gives us a better picture of how our trade's setting up. Uh, so we're, we're trying to break through this big through this resistance zone and we popped through there yesterday rejected those highs initially we got the higher high higher low 47.64 was the entry I think you know we got a little bit of a nosebleed going through that resistance level yesterday but it has been up there before and it will go up there again got a good stop loss in position there so we'll just let that ride Okay, so we've got two orders that I'm carrying over. I'm not going to put any new orders on this week. We've got a lot of open trades. We've got quite a bit of risk on there. So we've got to manage that risk. And we, we're going into, it's a short week. Well, Wednesday now, if I put a swing trade on a daily time frame, it might just trigger Thursday, Friday. We've got to carry it over the weekend. 
So first order, we, we carried over the order from yesterday on SXC. Potential fifth wave move there. Uh, all looks good. We had a bullish day yesterday, higher high, high low, but with lower volume. This is why we've gone for that conservative entry at 1046, which is above this high here. Uh, and outside of the six four moving average high. So that conservative entry still stands. We need to get that momentum back up to that, uh, back up to those levels so the $12 target can be achieved. And then finally, potential short on STZ is still good. It's not broken the stop for the order. If the markets do turn down, this will be sympathetic and the main bearish trend will continue for STZ. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.